Rio Ferdinand argued that Mikel Arteta would quit Arsenal to become the new Man UTD manager in a heartbeat. Mikel Arteta insists Premier League pundits' positive views are not given as much attention as they should get and claims the focus is too often on negative viewpoints instead. The Arsenal boss was the subject of claims this week that he would quit the Gunners for Manchester United if the Red Devils approached him to become their next manager. Rio Ferdinand claimed on his Five podcast, Arteta would leave Arsenal to come to Man United, 100%. No one is saying it's happening, but if Man United, in their wildest dreams, said do you know what, Eric Ten Hag, thank you, or Eric Ten Hag has been poached by Bayern Munich and he goes there, and Man United say right, top of our list, Mikel Arteta Arteta is going in, to Arsenal, and saying listen lads, it's been emotional, but I've got to move and got to go. The United Legends claim was derided on social media given Arteta has a long-standing connection to Arsenal, who he represented during his playing career. And this same week, Sky Sports duo Jamie Carragher and Gary Neville have found themselves in the crosshairs of United manager Eric Ten Hag and Chelsea head coach Mauricio Pochettino respectively for their comments while on air. Carragher dissected United's struggles on Monday night only for Ten Hag to hit back. Some analysts are very objective in their comments. Very good advice, some are very subjective. Jamie Carragher, from the first moment on, has criticized and now he wants to make his point, while Neville's labeling of Chelsea during the Carabao Cup final as billion-pound bottle jobs prompted Pochettino to respond. I think he was frustrated because Liverpool won another title, and that is true. I already talked about that. I think it's not fair to accuse in this way, a team that is very young. And Arteta, asked about pundits following Ferdinand's claim head love Ten Hag's United job, said, It's part of our job that we're exposed to the media, to the pundits. And they have their opinions. The only thing is we normally highlight ones not very positive. We should highlight the times when they say great things, make great comments and great points. These are said in a really good way and with a vision of someone who has the experience. If we do this, it is much better. Sometimes, though, we focus too much on the negative views. 